Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I welcome you with this very spring golden makeup look. I hope you like it. If you do, there's a video on my Instagram how I created this look. And also there's going a giveaway on my Instagram just right now that ends 3rd of March. So you still have some time to enter. Yeah, but today I can't believe the February is over. Seriously, time just flies by. I don't know where it goes, but anyway, it's the end of February and what comes with it? February favorites. So today I will share with you all the products that I used in February that I loved and I will continue using them in the next months. Okay, so the first product I wanna share with you is a Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I love this product, look at the packaging. I mean, I said it in the last video, Tatcha's packaging is just <laughs> marvelous. I just can't describe it in a different words, I just love it. What I love about this product is that it gives a beautiful, dewy, glowy, finish it just unpowders all the powders on the face melts everything together looks gorgeous let me just show you so today i have quite a matte face with some glow where i want to glow but look at this when i spray myself with this can you see how instantly my face started glowing Look at my forehead. It's not it's not shiny, but it's just glowy, luminous. It it is just amazing. Okay, secondly, we have a Vichy Derma Blend. It's a setting powder. I like this one for baking because it's white. It gives a nice highlight to the face. I like to use it under my eyes and also to just define my cheekbones. I think this one will be good for more oily skin rather than dry skin because it is just slightly drying but after a few minutes you can see how it melts into the skin i have it on today so that you can see how good it looks everything is just blended nicely i just have nothing wrong to say about this product so yeah if you are an oily skin girl this is the powder that i recommend trying next i have something exciting i really really like this product so these are Makeup Revolution concealers. They are called Conceal and Define and I have them in the shades C2 and C11 which is my highlight and contour shade. I have it on today as well just to show you how it looks on my face. Also this one is just slightly drying but not not really drying just just a tiny bit so I would recommend it from normal to oily skin but the coverage is really nice it also blends beautifully and it doesn't dry too quickly so that you can just work with it nicely sometimes I have this problem with the concealers that they just dry out too quickly and you can't just move them I mean this one doesn't do that and the most important thing it is very very cheap in the UK it costs just four pounds I mean four pounds. In Polish Zlotych it's about 30. It's still a really nice price for the concealer where normally for example shape tape is about 20 pounds. So the difference is big. The next thing that I want to share with you are lashes and these are the lashes that I have on today. Um, these are pretty little lashes in the style rad. So as you can see, they are very long, very wispy. What I like about them is that um, they are foaming. As I said before, they are wispy and they are very, very long, which is what I love about lashes. Long lashes is the only type of lashes I can wear. I like to fly with my lashes, you know? I want to make wind with my lashes. Just gorgeous. All right, the next thing that I have for you is an eyeshadow palette. And this is the Balm Meat Matchmaker palette. When I first tried it, I thought, I don't know how it will work, we will see. I don't have any big expectations, but honestly, I really enjoyed playing with this palette. It has all the natural shades, the more crazy ones, the shimmers, the mattes, everything is here. Plus, these eyeshadows blend beautifully beautifully the pigmentation is amazing so this is the example of the palette that is good plus it has quite a big mirror so for traveling 
necessity. Necessity. Another thing that I highly recommend and I highly fell in love with is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. Guys, I mean, you may know or not, I am a big fan of lip glosses lately and <laughs> this one just changed my life. It has a really nice nude um, color on the bare lips. It looks very natural, very, I would say, daily, but when you apply it on the lipstick, you can still see the color of the lipstick, plus you can see this beautiful glaziness of the lip gloss. Basically, this lip gloss just makes your lips a glazed donut. Apart from the fact that it looks good, it also moisturizes the lips nicely, which in the winter time is something that I really need. And if you don't have any Fenty Beauty product, this is the one that I would recommend the most. Just to try out the brand, you know, look at this packaging. I mean, Rihanna did a really good job with her products, but this lip gloss is just a bomb.com. So the next product isn't something that I have for a long time, but I just fall for it. Seriously, I mean, how can you not love this highlighter. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter in a collab with Amrizi and inside, I mean, this wave is just saying my name. Okay, so what I love about this highlighter is that it looks beautiful on all of the skin tones. I saw a lot of photos of the girls that have very rich, deep color of the skin and this highlighter still looks good on them and on me even though I am very pale, it just looks good. I just love it. I really often have the situation where the highlighter seems to be light, but actually on the face it just leaves this kind of, I don't know, shadow on the face and it just doesn't match my skin tone. But this one, look, I have it on my skin today, just to show you a little, you know, demonstration. It just looks beautiful. Okay, lastly, for the products, I have a brush and this is Huda Beauty Face Buff and Blend brush. I got it in a PR package with the Fall Filter Foundation and I really enjoy using this brush because it's very dense but at the same time it's extremely soft. It leaves the texture just blended beautifully and it doesn't leave any stripes on the face. I like to use it with a liquid foundation. Any of my foundations, it doesn't just really work nice with the Fall Filter Foundation. Plus, I like to use it for the powder foundation where I can just dab. This brush is so good that I'm waiting for the whole collection of the Huda Beauty brushes. I can't wait. Huda, if you hear me, you need to do the full collection of the brushes. If they will be this good, I want them all. So, apart from the products, I have other favorites of the month. I just decided to share them with you just because I just want you to know about me a little bit more than just makeup things. So I decided to share all of my stuff with you that I want to. So the first thing is that in February I started going to the gym, but I've been going to the gym for quite a while. I mean, two years or so, but I never really, I didn't have a goal but this february i got myself a goal and this goal is to tone up my body make my booty bigger make my stomach flatter i go to the gym four times a week what i love the most is that i have a lot more energy than i used to have so yeah this is it the next favorite is my hairstyle as you can see this is my favorite hairstyle of the month i just love this sleek little low bun. I mean, doesn't it look cute? Whenever I have a bad hair day, I just do this hairstyle and I look put together, I look nice, I look very just ready to go. I also decided to share with you some of my favorite songs of the month and also I'm thinking about doing a get lit with me. I don't know where this title comes from, but it's just basically a video where I show you my music. We just jam together. So yeah, let me know if you want to see that because I get quite a lot of questions um, about the music. I don't know. I think you just like the music that I listen to. So I'm thinking maybe I should show you more of that. 
so let me know. But yeah, for today I just decided to show you three songs that I was just, you know, obsessed. Why you make it so complicated? Spin cash for entertainment. That's all I'm saying. It's me and you and we making arrangements. But I last ten rounds like a freak. Like a love. You and that fade in love. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me home. This is feeling. Tell your best to see it. And that faded love. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it, especially the last part when I just got my moves. Well, basically this is what I do at the usual basis with the music on. I just do this weird, like, I feel like I'm in a music video, so don't mind that. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I will really appreciate it and also click the subscribe button down below and yeah see you in the next one bye